Hey, in this video, I'll cover the basics of writing a simple syntax highlighting extension for Visual Studio Code. This is really rather for quick personal use as the process for creating air quotes proper extensions is quite a bit more uh, involved and in my opinion, unnecessarily bloated. So without further ado, let's start with creating a package.json file in our project folder. This file is essentially the root of your extension. So we can give our extension a name, a display name, a description, categories, a publisher, an author, website, etc. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to be writing an extension for syntax highlighting block description files in my Minecraft clone in Python project. Uh, then you need a version number and it's imperative that you use three numbers separated by dots. The VS Code is very picky about this and won't give you any warnings if you screw up, not even in the console log, which is kind of dumb, but whatever. Then we need an engines tag, which tells VS Code which versions of it our extension is compatible with. And finally, a contributes tag. We want to contribute a new language, which we'll call mcpy underscore blocks, and we could give it an extension like .mcpy, but in my case, I'd like it to be for only a specific file name. In this case, blocks.mcpy. We also want to contribute a grammar for that language, which will be defined in syntaxes slash mcpy blocks.tmlanguage.json. Now, if we go into this language config configuration.json file, we can define a few things about our language. First, we can do comments, which in my descriptor language only exists as line comments starting with a hash. Then we can give the different brackets we have, the pairs of characters we want to automatically close, and in which cases we don't want them to automatically close, and the pairs of characters which are surrounding pairs. You can define a few more things, but this is all we really need over here. Finally, and certainly not least, as this is the most important part, we can create our mcpy underscore blocks.tm language.json file in its syntaxes folder and start working on that. We want our language name and our scope name just like in package.json and then we can define a few patterns for what constitutes certain elements of syntax. So each element here has a name for what syntax element it is and then a match property which is just a regular expression which says what that syntax element looks like. This is all pretty straightforward regex at this point but there are a few things I'd like to point out. This double backslash b stuff here is to ensure we only take into account words that are on their own and not part of other words. So for example, without it, name would be matched here, whereas with it, it would only be matched when it's separate. Secondly, for line comments, we need to tell it where to start. In this case, anywhere there's a hash and where to end. In this case, at the end of a line. Finally, for strings, we have something similar, just that we want to be able to use escapes. So we need to add a pattern for that, which just matches any character preceded by a backslash. And yeah, that's pretty much it. To install your newly made extension, just copy your project folder to your VS Code's extension folder, which should be .vs code slash extension on all platforms. Now you can reload VS Code by pressing F1 and searching for developer, reload window, and everything should just work fine. If this doesn't work, you can try seeing if the language was loaded at all by doing Ctrl K and then M and searching for your language. 